Hello, I'm Amy Steingart. I'm going to share two of my poems with you today. This first poem is called Spiky and Smooth. Let's divide these hurts and regrets. I'll take the ones that are ugly from cruelty, and you take the ones that are thoughtless wounding snipes. Let's divide this, but you get more. I pitch it into your lap until, piling precariously, your face vanishes behind that tower. Let's speak and not speak of the hurts and regrets. I say our love was profound, and you say you'll never regret it, regret us. But when I am alone in the dark, counting the years with you on my fingers, I regret it. I regret us. Too many fingers. One hand is completely gone. You squeezed time for me from your life, wrung it from your children, from their mother's all-consuming needs. The time that belonged to you, that you claimed and defended as your own, had been lessened, limited, diminished year by year, till you cooked every night, and you pulled the shades down in the evening, and pulled them up again in the morning, and you commuted, mowed the grass, and vacuumed. While most of her time was spent horizontal on the couch, it was easier that way. That's what you told me. The hurts, the weekly, monthly, years-long hurts. The fact of the hurts was, I told myself you had made a choice for me, for us, but I wasn't at the top of your list. Not even close. And we lived like that for four years. The hurts and regrets, the grievances and resentments bred acrimony, antagonism, bred bitterness. We were together like that for four years. I remember, sink into it, quicksand, quagmire. Somehow I stretch and scrabble up, pull myself back, a rubber band stretched as tight as it will go. Released, I fly through the air, hurts and regrets of many colors, spiky and smooth, nasty and nominal, drift in my wake. Some fly with me, some fall to earth. Perhaps I don't need to count them, divide them, share them, dump them, pile them high enough to block out your face. I will scrape any that remain along my skin out onto my fingertips, flick them away. Hurts and regrets stream out behind me, a coat of many colors, spiky and smooth, nasty and nominal, as I float, as I fly. So here's my second poem. Exquisite. Experts say we may now unmask. Everyone wants to breathe freely, even in smog, even in icy air. Experts say now we may unmask ever without a filter between mouth and lungs, escaping pleated paper, creased cloth. Eden, it will be Eden. Eden had only skin and fruit, and skin of a fruit pierced by Eve's teeth. Eden had only trees, each one pleasing to the sight, each fruit delicious, exhilarating. Eden had trees, skin, fruit, and skin of a fruit pierced by Eve's teeth. Eve's teeth emerged from taut skin. Essence of fruit dripped down Eve's chin. Eve, foolish, deliberate, or brave, essence of fruit on her chin. Eve, foolish, deliberate, or brave, led us from a fairy tale place to everlasting ensnaring tangles of joy, sorrow, anger, envy. Emerging from the fairy tale, the fable, the fiction, to energetic life, to earth, earth, the truth of it, as it should be as it is. Eve escaped the fable, the fiction of Eden, emphatically brave. Everlasting, we are required to be brave in the face of emerging variants. Exhausted, we trudge onward. Exhausted, hungry for fruit. Exhausted, we read ourselves fairy tales. Is this the true earth? Earth, exhausted, eternal. Earth, Tangles of joy, sorrow, anger, earth, 
our earth. Full taut skin pierced by teeth. Eve's earth, emphatically enticing, ensnaring, exquisite. So I hope you enjoyed listening to those. Uh, if you'd like to read any of them, you can go to my website, which is amysteingartpoetry.com. Thanks for being with me today. <laughs>